time to move towards the next resource person for this Teacher Day celebration event uh, organized by Cape Comoran Trust. Yes, I'm talking about uh, our uh, resource person, none other than Dr. Anupama Vora Ma'am, Professor, Department of English, University of Jammu, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, India. For her, I would like to say that Professor Anupama Vora Ma'am uh, teaches in the Dis uh, Directorate of Distance Education in Jammu University, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, Ma'am has been awarded by various awards and uh, certificates by various uh, trusts and organizations. She has uh, uh, guided various scholars, learners, and students with her eminent words and uh, uh, wonderful guidance. Uh, Ma'am has been awarded by various uh, uh, teaching institutions also, and she's uh, uh, giving her selfless services uh, to various uh, students and the society. So with these words, may I please welcome on the screen, uh, Professor Anupama Vora, ma'am. Uh, over to you, ma'am, and welcome. Thank you, Kumar, for the introduction. And uh, uh, before I start, uh, my sincere thanks and gratitude to Cape Cameron Trust and Dr. Silvis, who gave me this opportunity on a very auspicious day, that is the Teacher's Day, to interact with you all. And I was listening to Professor Raja Raman, who has given a very insightful talk on the role of teachers, tracing it from the ancient to the modern times, with some very beautiful, thought-provoking anecdotes. Uh, well, today I'll be interacting with you all on uh, the challenges before teachers during COVID-19 and post-COVID-19. I begin my talk with Aristotle works, uh, words who wrote that those who educate the children are more to be honored than their parents because they give them life, but those the art of living with, unquote. My heartiest greetings once again to all on the auspicious occasion of Teachers' Day celebrations today, that is the 5th of September, the birthday of Dr. Sarpalli Radhakrishnan, who, as we know, was the first Vice President of India, a highly respected teacher, philosopher, and prolific statesman, who moved on to become the second President of India and believed, I quote, teachers should be the best minds in the country. Here I am reminded of uh, Indian Institute of Advanced Studies because I spent two beautiful years of my life there. And this place, the Rashpati Bhavan, has been dedicated by Dr. Radha Krishnan to the teachers, to the scholars, for such meeting of minds and exchange of ideas as are likely to extend our horizons of knowledge and wisdom and add new dimensions to our life and thought. Today is the day to acknowledge the contributions of the teachers who infuse young minds with strong values and inspire them to be curious, to seek knowledge and to dream, and because of whose sincerity, commitment and dedication, we teachers like us got inspired to join this noble profession. Yes, we all need to admit it, that these our teachers have been the motivating, the driving force before behind our joining this profession. Well, I do agree that over a period of time, sleaze, dishonesty, etc. have entered here, but it should not be a deterrent. A few days back, those at the top positions we have seen, especially in the recently concluded games, all winners, both from India and abroad, have acknowledged their coach trainer's contribution and role in, make, in moving them forward. So what does it clearly show? The influence and impact which a teacher has on the students, which Professor Raja Raman also pointed out. Whereas the parents are the teachers in the home space, teachers play a pivotal role as knowledge imparters, moral and spiritual guides, and intellectual mentors of the student. For a moment, let us go back to our childhood. Uh, college and university days and remember how we used to follow, imitate and aspire to be like our teachers. Yes, of course, 
those who are friendly giving personal recognition and performing the dual role of teacher and counselor and we in india have a rich tradition of guru shiksha uh, parampara guru we know is the one who is the torch bearer and the students want to tread on the path of uh, of knowledge which has been set before them by the guru and if you look at all the professions in this world you find that teaching profession enjoys the highest respect and if we look back into ancient india the pupils used to stay with the guru in his ashram or the forest serve him do all work and also learn skill and gain knowledge which was transmitted through the word of mouth by the guru and the some of the noteworthy examples which we all are well of eklavya and dronacharya of uh, shri ramakrishna parmhans and his illustrious uh, disciple swami vivekananda and then there are a whole list of it and when we look at india during the last 70 years we have seen experimentation with different formats of education here you would all agree with me that moving on from annual to semester system to choice non choice based credit system to credit based uh, choice based credit system to swayam to move and during all these times the teachers at all levels have stood the test of these experimentation and contributed their best for the success and future of the students we all know in the kothari commission it has been clear of 1966 it has been clearly said of all the different factors which influence the quality of education and its contribution to national development the quality competence and character of teachers are undoubtedly the most significant and when we look at the national education policy 22 which also stresses teachers truly shape the future of our children and therefore the future of our nation and it implies that teachers play the most important role in nation building by creating high quality of human resources in their classroom however if we look at the ground realities they are very different if we look at justice js verma committee report of 2012 it writes and i quote from it a broken teacher education sector is putting over 370 million children at risk upon its inspection scores of private teacher education institutes were found to have only a foundation stone in the name of infrastructure and 99% passing rate and it continues every other day we have a list of fake universities etc first employment and then the challenges and issues post employment range from in context of teachers exploitative employment conditions which are characterized by ad hocism poor salaries on the one hand and to absenteeism outdated teacher knowledge and skills lack of teacher professionalism commitment etc but instead of blame game recognizing the power of teacher net has put in place system systematic training encouragement support with prof, uh, professional development to help teachers emerge as an attractive profession of choice for bright and talented young men and this needs to be appreciated that they have stressed that well there has to be training orientation incentive so that the teachers come and they are given the the teachers who are already working they are to be given incentive so that they can also contribute their best now moving on from here to covid 19 we are all suffering and what has happened 20 20 onwards life has changed dramatically globally i'll be focusing only on our country india the lockdown in the third week of march 2020 threw life out of gear all sections of society and both public and private sectors have faced the brunt of pandemic not only deaths loss of job shutdown of educational institutions home confinement terror p 
fear, trauma, etc. have been dominating aspects of life till now. But the worst has been seen in context of students, whether the school going students, the college going students, students going to the professional institutions or university. One day they were in the institutions and the next day the whole world was kind of flipped upside down and leaving everyone in pickle. And within months, there was a switch over from classroom teaching to online virtual classroom teaching. A tricky thing in short period of time, but the teacher cut the mustard. Despite teachers getting such short notice, they invested considerable pro professional and personal energy into getting set up for online classes from physical appearance in the classroom situation leading the students through certain things. They did redo their curriculum, their study material, their notes to make it compatible to teach online. Many of them are not well versed technology, but they struggle to learn it on their own or from their children or from colleagues and friends and also from their students online. What was the zeal behind all this? The zeal was to engage students, keep in touch with them. And besides teaching, here the teachers perform the dual role. Besides teaching, they also try to motivate them, try to counsel them and infuse them in them the spirit that they are going to come out of this pandemic situation. Juggling a full course load of teaching and students coming from all walks of life without the same technology or support at home while caring for their own family at home, which too had demanding expectations during COVID-19, the teachers made and are still making the best efforts. As we all know, pandemic is still not over. Online lectures have been developed to be fluid, discussion-based but teachers still face the difficulty to read the pulse of the classroom as technology has its own limitations. Sometimes on the online classes, students are unable to ask, they are hesitant, they are unable to adopt to the new technology for teaching, they are missing the school environment, their friends, and there are disturbances of different kinds when separate rooms are not available for to them in a joint family etc and here further lies the challenge for teachers to motivate them for learning in such given situations the task of teaching learning is most difficult in sciences and the conduct of practical how far virtual laboratories experiments have been successful in students is still a question which remains unanswered. And another challenge which the teachers have faced is that when the lockdown was announced, the teacher, the classes were going on, so they were quite familiar uh, with their students. But as they moved on to the new class, the teachers and the students remained strangers. And so that one-to-one uh, -one communication and personal record was missing. And uh, on the other side, when we look at these teachers who lost their jobs and uh, uh, they faced a lot of criticism from the parents of the students and uh, negative commentary about them in the media, this also lowered the uh, well-being and uh, did raise the stress level of the students but they continue teaching. Now, when we look at the present situation, we find that curriculum, learning, teaching, and assessment have changed significantly, and new measures are required to support education during uh, pandemic and also post-pandemic. And as such, the role of teachers is rapidly evolving, becoming in many ways more difficult than when learning took place only in person and to wind it up i say that uh, today teachers need to continuously learn 
unlearn and relearn to improve their instructional talent, uh, instructional skills. And here I quote the French essayist Joseph Jobert, who says, to teach is to learn twice over. So the teaching process is an opportunity for the teacher to relearn with his or her students. Therefore, a teacher remains a teacher lifelong. Uh, one aspect of teacher uh, which is not focused during the pandemic is that the teachers, uh, in addition to their teaching duties, they had also been uh, deployed for various COVID duties to work as frontline workers attending emergency calls, enforcing protocol in the confinement zone, going door to door to identify coronavirus infected patients, checking certificates of RT-PCR of the uh, commuters at the rail, at the bus station, at the railway station, airports. And many of the teachers have lost their lives catching infections during this time or have fallen sick. Well, every cloud has a silver lining and the positive aspects of the lo uh, lockdown uh, are increased collaborations, creativity and competence development among teachers who have either started or enhanced their use of online platforms and have continued to use these platforms even after where some classes have started offline. Uh, well, to conclude, today is the day to salute the teachers who in this crisis have shown, as they have done so often, great leadership and innovation in ensuring that come what may, learning never stops. Across India, teachers have worked individually and collectively within given resources to find solutions to create new learning environments for their students to allow education to continue. And this reminds of Alexander the Great's words, I'm indebted to my father for a living, but to my teacher for living well, unquote. And we, I close my talk by paying a tribute to the teachers who have lost their life during this pandemic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor Anupama Bora, ma'am, uh, for your wonderful lecture. And each word that you uh, that you said is uh, worth it, and it is wonderfully uh, uh, matchable and related to the today's eve of. Uh, a teacher's day celebration and as you are the daughter of the Duggar land from uh, jnk and i'm also from jnk so a special yeah. teacher's day wish to you ma'am uh Dog Thank i will you say so much i will say in dogri that to say be i said shik shik te vesti ha badi mati mati mumar kha meri tarfa to say bhi mati mati badhai ho hai shik shik te vesti bahut bahut shukriya ma'am and uh, uh with this uh a uh, wonderful lecture by Anupama uh, Anupama Vora ma'am on this teacher's day. Uh, I would like to uh, say some beautiful lines that uh, teacher, you are, uh, for teachers, I would like to say that as we all are teachers and everybody that whom we come across in the world and in the society is a teacher, nature is also a teacher, right? So for every teacher of the world, I would like to say, that you are not only our teacher, you are not only our teacher, you are a friend, philosopher, and guide. You have molded us, everybody, and you are you are molded into one person's all the personalities and all the aspects of the life. So with these words, I would like to once again uh, uh, wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. And uh, yes, it has been uh, wonderfully said that uh, if teachers will not be there, no other profession will be there because teachers are the makers of the world, are the creators of the society, of a wonderful society and a beautiful society. So with these words, uh, I would like to take leave from you all and uh, wish you uh, a very happy Teacher's Day. Uh, there is an announcement for you that uh, uh, the Google Forms for the certificates are provided in the chat box. You all are requested to fill the uh, feedback, uh, feed, 
back forms and Google form so that the respective certificates for the events will be uh, sent to your respective emails. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining and making this uh, event a great success and wonderful. Happy Teacher's Day to you once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you all the participants also for joining uh, from all the scholars, all teachers, all professors and all uh, volunteers. Thank you so much.